As an independent artist, whether you're a producer or in a band, you can have total control over your music. And that's both an amazing and scary prospect. Without a record label, you have incredible freedom, but you also have to do everything yourself. When you're releasing music independently, planning is vital. So you have everything ready for the weeks leading up to your music's release. But if you have friends or family who are willing to help you out, it can make the whole process much easier. So welcome to the first video in our series where we walk you through everything you need to do on release day and beyond. Today we're going to show you the best way to prepare for your music releases to hit the stores. Because as much as it is about releasing music, you also need to grow your brand and network. So let's get into it. Firstly, we recommend that you make your release a single or an EP rather than an ambitious album. This way you can get out there and get a low cost introduction to your audience and to the music industry. First, finish your music, sort your artwork and decide on distribution for your tracks. Once you have the essentials ready to go, it's time to get your music into stores with a distributor, like Rootnote. Distributors often have different tiers of membership and different services to provide, from straight up digital distribution to physical distribution of CDs and vinyl. But as you're starting out, digital gives you the best opportunity to grow your audience. And with Rootnote, you can distribute for free and keep 85% of your earnings and upgrade to our price beating premium plan at any time to keep 100%. Once you've chosen a distributor, it's time to set your release date and time. We recommend four weeks from the date of upload or even longer for ambitious campaigns. This makes sure your distributor and streaming services have enough time to get your music ready. Check there's no big clashes like public holidays and that it's a good time for you personally too, because it's going to be a lot of work but trust us, it will be worth it. In the lead up to your release, you should make a plan around three vital things, marketing, promotion, and branding. If you don't have an audience yet, a great way to increase yours is to be promoted by those with a larger audience than you. Maybe your friend has a larger following, or maybe a local radio show would have you on as a guest. So get in touch with local radio stations and ask them to play your new release and maybe have you on the show. The more well known you are, the easier it will be to get on larger radio shows. For more information on how to do this, check the link in the description. This might mean booking yourself out on release day to be on shows, playing a gig, or perhaps hosting a launch party where you listen to the release with fans. Another way to promote your music is applying to playlists like those you'll find on Spotify. Head to streaming service artist portals such as Spotify for Artists to find playlist pitching forms for the official playlists curated by streaming platform staff. When looking for ways to promote your release, be careful of pay for play scams, which could end up getting your tracks taken down from stores and hurt your career. Something else you can do is contact PR sites and send out a press release and an electronic press kit showcasing your music. There's a link in the description if you need any help with that one, and one with the best third-party playlist to pitch to as well. And if you have a budget for advertising, YouTube and social media ads allow you to target a very specific audience. But ads or no ads, you're going to need a social media strategy. The most important thing in promotion is consistency in your image across platforms, so people become familiar with you and know who you are at a glance. This also means having professional profile and cover photos and having the same or at least similar handles across social media platforms, which will help people find you. Now you have brand consistency, you can focus on content. A great way to generate content for your socials is to make a music video for your release. It doesn't have to be super professional, it could just be you and your friends messing around or even a lyric video. One music video generates endless content like teasers, behind the scenes footage and stills. The more you have to share, the more chances you have to engage with fans. So heading towards your release date, you've got your assets and it's time to start promoting. And in 2022, that means upping your social media game. 
There are a couple of categories of content that we've split things up to, and the first one is video content. Music videos, teasers, interviews, lyric breakdowns, behind the scenes antics, all of this is great long form content. Clips of these can be posted as short form content using each platform specific feature, like Instagram Reels, Facebook Stories, TikTok, or YouTube Shorts. And through RootNote, you can upload your song to the sound libraries of these platforms. So when release day comes, people can add your track to their own short video creations. Next category is updates. So like countdowns, milestones, and announcements. Make sure to include pictures to increase engagement. Dominate more screen space and draw more people in. These are supported on all previously mentioned sites, except TikTok. The next category is challenges and competitions. To engage your fans, why not invite them to duet and sing along for prizes, like tickets to your show or merch, and use hashtags to easily filter entries. And scheduling posts across platforms will take some of the work away from you. Even if you hate social networking, it's an opportunity you can't afford to miss. So be yourself and don't be afraid to get a little bit weird. And if you're not comfortable in front of a camera, do what you do best and just play your music. Post content like clips of you playing gigs or busking on the street. Go live on socials, just making beats in your room. Anything you can do to invite your audience into your music. Think about your other strengths as well. If you're a lyricist, try making graphics based around your song. Make a blog or turn to Twitter where images aren't as important. Think about what makes you unique. For example, if you make folk music, you might want to focus on the natural world with posts shot outdoors. If you're a bedroom producer, show off your studio setup. It's also super important to get your friends, family, and your local fans on board, pre-saving your release and sharing your content. This will help algorithms identify your track and give your release traction, at the same time as sharing your content to those outside of your personal influence. So reach out to friends and family on whichever platforms they're most active and think about starting a mailing list to keep in touch with more people directly. The important thing is to keep posting and promoting. Keep up the momentum right to release day. Things like setting a countdown on Instagram three days before your release will help. By taking the time to think about your release strategy, you're guaranteeing yourself more success than sending your music out into the void and hoping your talent alone carries you through. And we hope that this video will help you to be more successful with each release. This is the first in a series of videos we're making to walk you through everything you need to do to prepare for release day and beyond. And next, we'll cover how to have an incredible release day and we'll have a final video that will show you how to keep the momentum going post-release. So look for the links below and make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any videos and hit the notification bell to be told when the next videos in the series come out. And if you found this helpful, give it a like and share it with your friends to help with their upcoming releases. Thanks for watching, we'll see you next time.